So this is the, uh, before David shared his experience with the audience, I'm going to show the audience what um, David looked like before hair transplant. He's pretty much been bald from the front, uh, quite a bit in the frontal area, and that's what he was. And again, when you lose hair, you look older, but now with a lo lower set of hairline, a full set of hair, he definitely looked much younger. And uh, look at that. And it's natural, too. Year later, right hand side, right hand side, left hand side, left hand side, top four. Okay, and so, okay, go ahead, David. Why don't you share your experience with the uh, audience? Yes, um, so basically, how I heard about uh, Dr. Diop in his office was uh, through one of our business partners. We had the pleasure of uh, getting first-hand experience of watching um, him go through the experience and, and watch him go through the healing and the whole year of his hair growing. Uh, my twin brother and I, we, uh, we noticed at a young age our hair was receding and we did a lot of research and we did a lot of, we got a lot of pamphlets, we got a lot of um, brochures to read, a lot of infomercials to go through uh, and, and finally we landed, our, our business partner did all the homework for us and then directed us after a full year, I think it was right on his uh, one year anniversary. Um, that we decided to say, yeah, we wanted to go ahead and, and move forward. Um, and I'm glad we did because uh, th from the time that I've had this procedure done until now, um, I can tell you right now that uh, at one point in time, about a year ago, I, I looked a lot older. Uh, people when, in conversations would continuously stare at my forehead, look at my hairline. It would make me feel a little awkward. Uh, it would make me continuously move my head left and right um, to see what they were really looking at instead of giving me eye contact. Uh, but since the, the procedure, uh, I, like I said, my confidence level is very, very high. Um, I walk into a room with, with a smile constantly. I'm never doubting anything of what people are thinking or what they're looking at because um, mm -hmm. I, I know that my hairline is looking good and I know my hair is, is looking fuller mm -hmm. and I had a great experience. Great. Uh, uh, Dan, you want to come in and show the other? <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, but but you know, how about uh, when did it take you to have the hair start growing in? I want to say about um, mm -hmm. about four to six weeks after it, it really yeah. it really started growing in, yeah. and uh, it started just taking off from there. It hasn't stopped since. It's yeah. just growing naturally. <laughs> but see, they look identical. Yeah, <laughs> same type of hair loss, you know, and uh, and uh, and the result can be uh, you know fantastic, and it really bring the youth back and. Thank you, David and Daniel, for uh, sharing the uh, experience no. with the audience. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to be sharing this, uh, spreading your word around to all yeah. my friends that are in need of uh, some hair restoration. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank all you. Right.